Hello, tribe. It's Malu reading from Malu Spiritual Place where the spiritual journey begins. And now is the turn of scorpions. <sighs> my little scorpions. I always say, like, people, my mom used to be a, a scorpion, so I know that they can be harmful, but I love them. They can be so over, overprotective, they do a lot of things. So, a Scorpion, this is your 2020 year reading. Uh, we are going to be focusing first in what is the the most important part of the 2020 that is going to be affecting your uh, journey or your life during this, uh, this 2020, and then we are going to be going through the months. So, kind of shuffling the cards, because they get, the, they have the tendency of getting uh, too close or kind of make it difficult for me to choose the cards when I'm doing it, the reading. Again, I'm getting a little bit sick. So let's see how it goes. So a Scorpio, let's go. So it's for you, a Scorpio. A Scorpio. <sighs> for you, it's going to be about following your emotions. I have another sign so far. I don't remember which one it is right now. But I have one that if they need to stop fa following their emotion and maybe do more actions. In your case, you need to stop trying to figure out everybody else or trying to put your mind into it or your psychic and stuff like that. We know that you are very intuitive, Scorpio. And you need to follow your heart a little bit. It's difficult for you to let people know exactly how you feel, not because you are like cancer. Cancer tend to uh, put themselves in this cave or they really overprotect themselves. You really don't like drama. You really don't want to deal with people so most of the time. But you need to accept that you need them, that you want them around you, that in some kind of way you depend on it, right? So they're saying that in your case, you need to put more attention around you and your feelings. You need to really follow your heart a little bit more. So whatever is going on to you for you during this 2020 is going to be around your emotions, to follow your emotions, or at least to let them flow. You put too much excuses to not let people know how you really feel or you sometimes don't go with your feelings you just kind of put excuses not to feel this or feel that so you need to put attention now i know that you are a sexual sign that's the truth scorpio that's the truth so you need to stop letting those kind of things control you or dictaminate your life and you need to listen more your heart this is the year for you to listen more your heart Okay, so January, wow, January starts with a change of luck, a change of career, a change of financial things, but whatever it is, it's going to be a change in your life, it could be a change of heart, change of profession, a change in your mind or in the way that you're going to be seeing certain things, but definitely it's a good change. Remember that everything that you're going to be feeling about your heart or allowing your heart to tell you what you need to do or maybe the profession that you feel more drawn to. But really, January starts with a change. I don't know why. I feel like it's a change of heart. Uh, having in consideration of how the 2020 is going to be affecting your emotions. But definitely a good change uh, during January. Definitely you're going to feel different or something is going to pull you to be different during this year. February, another good card, Six of Cups, and we continue with emotions with you, Scorpio. During February, you're going to be feeling accomplished about something that you've been working on. The key of this is going to be for you to keep showing how you feel about it. Someone is going to be with you. Maybe you're going to have your children with you. If you don't have it, maybe something about your kids, maybe about your relationship. It's definitely about home that you're going to feel fulfilled. And you're going to see good things through that. Your emotions are going to feel finally that they are not where they belong. But definitely you need to let them know and let them see how you really feel. March. So March for you maybe is going to be a little bit difficult because maybe you're going to feel attacked. You have the page of one. So for me, that card is telling me that during this month, you're going to feel maybe a little bit of attack or maybe certain things are not following or flowing in the way that you want it. Definitely, uh, 
well, they're saying that you are you need to put attention to your intuition during that month and your heart because maybe you start acting or doing certain things. You're gonna feel that people don't get to you, that you're gonna feel that maybe you are doing something wrong, but it's not that. It's just like maybe the way that you were doing things in that moment or in that month are not working the way that you want it, and you're gonna feel attacked or you're gonna feel that it's too much, that you are not uh, putting some results out there. But they're saying that during March, the key it will be to listen your intuition, to listen your heart, and trust. No matter how difficult it is, just trust. April. April comes to you, Scorpio, with the possibility of traveling. You're going to be traveling, but not just that. You have the two of one. So that means that you're going to be one of those signs that during this month, you're going to be, or maybe during this year, other signs have this card in other month but definitely for you Scorpio is going to be about a decision a balance you will need to create a balance between your intuition your emotions and the world around you the physical the material thing definitely some trips are coming during this month maybe you're gonna be starting planning a trip uh, very soon but definitely the most important thing that you need to know about uh, April is that you're going to make a decision about things that you need to do that have to create a balance between what you feel, what you receive, and what you want. It's time for you to stop, I'm not gonna say pretending, but you need to stop doing or acting in certain ways because maybe you're just protecting yourself. You need to stop doing that, okay, uh, Scorpio? <laughs> Have a mess in here. May, may come to you as a big change, may, for you is the month that you are going to really, really start your spiritual journey. During this, during this month, you are going to really, really start working towards your goal. You're going to be really, really changing inside of you. A lot of people are going to think that you're crazy, that maybe that something is going on with you. A lot of people are going to maybe try to take you out of your path of your journey. Don't let them. Follow that, that you feel that is the thing that you need to do. You need to do it. You need to really put yourself out there. This May is going to be about big changes, inner changes. But it's more, these inner changes are going to be about how you're going to be perceiving and doing your spiritual path. <sighs> June. June, you have the Six of Swords. That means that, again, I think that the travel that you were doing in your, um, in May, is co um, in April, is coming in June, but not just that, during that trip, that it seemed like it could be like a cruise or something that had to be um, going on top of waters. Uh, besides that, definitely you will need to listen to your emotion during that month. I would say like there are going to be some, ide some ideas, some plans that you want to create, something that you've been thinking a lot that will need intentions and it will need emotions. By example, maybe you want to have a better uh, job. Maybe it's an idea or maybe you want to create a business. You don't know yet what, but you need to create a business. But maybe you just doing it because of the money because you're tired of this and that they're changing they're telling change that change that instead of thinking that way you will need to think about the good things the passion uh look for what is going to cost on you just need to put emotions or feeling toward whatever ideas you've been thinking to do okay sweeties definitely and um, but definitely june is going to bring some travel for you as well like a visiting kind of thing. July. July for you is going to be a month. You have the king of wands. For me, July is going to be for you a month that you don't do too much. It's not a time to think. It's not a time, well, we're always thinking. But it's not about planning. It's not about... Um, June is going, July is going to be a slow month for you. But it's more about for you to stay steady and let things flow into your way. Put attention, be an observer. July for you is a month that you just need to put attention to things around you. July is a month that you're gonna feel stuck, but you are not. This is something that you need to remember because Scorpio, when you get crazy, when you feel that nothing is going on, 
in your life sometimes you just act and you don't uh, go through the process of maybe planning it so they're saying you're gonna feel stuck but you're not going to be it's just like July it's for you to recover it's for you to sit down and just see as an inspector uh, maybe from the outside things so you can make the changes August an emotional month for you you have the page of cups so that means that you're going to be going through some kind of emotions maybe you're gonna feel a little bit like oh this is not me I don't I don't want to listen my heart nothing bad it's just like for you Scorpio that maybe just finally allow yourself emotionally speaking to be out and to people feel you and hear you in that aspect it's going to be like a chaos in some kind of way so maybe your emotions are going to go through that process during august but nothing that you need to worry about everything is going to be fine august is just an emotional month but in a good way i don't see you sad i don't see you depressed i don't see you going through some kind of situation just your own how to control your own way of feeling or your emotions and, and stuff like that September, you have the nine, the nine of cups, another mom that you're gonna feel emotional in a good way. These emotions are going to pull you. Maybe you're in love and you don't want to accept that it's going like, how I get in love, how I fall for this person, or I don't know, I don't want it to feel this way, I don't want to this, like something like that, like something good is happening in you, but maybe the way that you are processing is not the way. But this is September um, that you're gonna allow it to run with you and you are going to maybe surrender to these emotions in control but you're going to surrender yourself into these emotions like you know let me see let me try nothing bad is going to happen if I try and stuff like that so surrender I go September for you surrender and let it flow and you will see how amazing it's going to turn out whatever you are trying to avoid with yourself I kind of like this is bothering me a little bit, so I'm just going to take it out. Oh, two cards. But what is this? <laughs> you have King of Cups for October. I have two cards, but the one that stayed in my hand it was the, the, the King of Cups. Uh, you continue dealing with your emotions. Uh, but in this time, everything goes into fluctuation. Whatever it is that you are, you didn't want to happen, whatever it is that you were fighting, it happened for good to you uh, during uh, October. You're gonna feel that everything is good, especially if you are in a relationship, everything is going to go so smoothly with this person that you're gonna be like, and I was fighting myself with the cause of that, or I was going through this process, no. You're gonna be like asking even yourself some those kind of things, but October definitely is a good month for you. November, November you have the seven of cups. November you're gonna be too busy. November for you is going to be a month that you're gonna try to do a lot of things at the same time. You, I know that you're multitasking, Scorpio, but be careful with yourself. I want you to, when it's time, this is the card that you have. Right now, even right now, I want you to focus in at least one or two car, one of the two cups that you have, one or two cups focus on those or see which ones the which two are calling yourself and in November I want you to remember that to go back to this video and focus in those things uh, in whatever the message it is it's a butterfly by example it's transformation the the rainbow is about enjoying happiness uh, the dragon is maybe about some kind of energy force or something that you need to create etc so whatever the cups that you are drawing to remember this by November because you need to focus in just two things no matter how many things you have in your hand in your plate you need to focus in two things when you focus in these two things from all of the things that you need to focus then everything else is going to follow but you're gonna be really busy during that month and December December comes with the recognition <laughs> I don't know what I'm singing I have someone singing here but definitely December you have the eight of Pentacle December is coming with the possibility of stability. 
December is going to be a good month for you. You're going to be fa ending this this year in a good eco uh, financial aspect. But not just that, whatever you study, whatever is your profession, whatever is your career, is going to finally take you to the next step or the, or the next thing that you need to keep working in that area. Definitely money is going to be there. Whatever you've been working during the year that financially, financially speaking, is going to see by the end of the year. So you have to have patience. You know, you need to know that the fructui the fruition or the the blossoming of this whatever entrepreneur or whatever thing that you want to create in your financial stability is going to show by that time. Definitely your year Scorpio is going to be really really a good year. Definitely I don't see like a bad bad month for you. Maybe a little bit of stress full <laughs> when the emotions came here but nothing big nothing that you cannot handle for you uh, I, as, a, as the other sign that I have is going to be pink it's going to be about relationship about love um, but I would say like it could be pink or it could be red those are the colors that you can use um, and not just that I would say that the herbs that you can use are going to be about attracting so it's about attraction, it's about um, protection as well. You can use whatever you feel good about those two. So Scorpio, this has been your 2020 year. Remember that your intention is about following your heart. That's the intention, to listen to your heart. So thank you Tribe to be watching this video. Thank you for being part of this amazing family. See you in the next video. Bye bye.